De Joyong or Tai Zhu, also known as Gao, King Go, established the state of Bali, reigning from 699 to 719. De Joyong was the first son of General De Yung Sang, who was also known as Sari Jil Jil Yung Song or De Jil Jil Yung Song. Historical sources give different accounts of De Jo Young's ethnicity and background. Among the official dynastic history works, the new Book of Tang refers to De Jo Young as a sumo mohe. The old Book of Tang states De's ethnic background as. The term is interpreted as meaning a branch of the Kukuryo people by South and North Korean historians. Sam Kyusa, the 13th century collection of Korean history and legends, describes De as a sumo mohe chieftain. However, it gives another account of Dae being a former Kukuryo general. After the fall of Kukuryo to the Shila Tang armies, Dae Yung Sang remained in a part of Kukuryo which had not been attacked during the Third Kukuryo Tang War. Afterward, Jil Jil Yung Sang and Jil Jil Dae Jo Young was opposed to the Tang and its interregnum Wu Zhou. In the confusion of the Kitan uprising led by Li Jinshong against the Wu Zhou in May 696, Dae Yung Sang led at least 8,000 Kukuryo remnant peoples. The Mohe people, Tadongmo Mountain, and the Mohe leader Jil Sabu made an alliance and sought independence. The Wu Zhou killed Jil Sabu, and Dae Yung Sang also died. Dae Jil Jil Zhou Young integrated the armies of Kukuryo people and some Mongol tribes and resisted Wu Zhou's attack. His victory over the Wu Zhou at the Battle of Tiananmen enabled him to expand his father's empire and claimed himself the King of Zhen in 698. He established his capital at Dongmo Mountain in the south of today's Jilin province, and built Dongmo Mountain Fortress, which was to become Zhen Kingdom's capital. He attempted to expand his influence in foreign politics involving the Tang slash Wuzhou, the Gok Turks, the Khitan, Shila and some independent Mohe tribes. At first he dispatched an envoy to the Gok Turks, allying against Tang slash Wuzhou. Then he reconciled himself with the Tang when Emperor Thong Zong was restored to the throne. In 712, he renamed his empire Bali. In 713 he was given the titular title of Prince of Commandery of Bali by Emperor Xuanzang. After a period of rest within the empire, King Go made it clear that Shila was not to be dealt with peacefully because they had allied with Tang to destroy Kukuryo, the predecessor of Bali. This aggressive stance towards Shila was continued on by his son and successor King Mu of Bali. De Zhou Young died in 719, and his son De Muye assumed the throne. De Jo Young was given the posthumous name King Go. De Jo Young had at least two wives. His only known sons through his first wife were De Muye and De Munye. The sons through his other wife or wives were De Tui Jin, De Ho Bang, and De Nongye. The only concrete fact regarding De Jo Young's sons was that De Muye was the firstborn and oldest among them. He had younger brother, De Yabal. After the fall of Bali, the last prince led some Bali aristocracy into the Korean state Goryeo. De Jo Young's descendants include modern day Koreans who bear the surname Tae, or Dae. In South Korea, a television drama on KBS One was launched since September 2006 in his honor. Roughly 30% of the Korean viewers enjoyed this program. Rock Navy Warship, De Jo Young in San Diego, USA. De Jo Young built a vast army and a powerful navy just as the Taiwangs of Kukuryo had done. The third Chungyugon Yi Sun Sin class destroyer commissioned by the Republic of Korea Navy is named Dae Jo Young. KDX 2 class destroyers are named after significant figures in Korean history such as Admiral Yi Sun Sin. The Chunbun ancestral rite is held annually in Balhi village, Gyeongsan Bakdu, in order to commemorate the achievements of Dae Jo Young. The Kyungsan city mayor participates in the event, which is open for public participation. Thanks for watching.